Hello, welcome. Here's our Saxon lesson today for lesson 101. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about our English history. So our language began changing and expanding again during the 1700s. English people began exploring other countries and trading with other merchants. The English ports, which were cities located by the ocean, became crowded with ships containing new items from other countries. The crews of these ships also brought back new words from other countries, and these words were gradually added to the English language. Let's see if we can think of some words that may have come from other countries. If a ship captain visited it it Italy where they speak Italian, he might have brought back some Italian words. Who can think of some words in our language that came from the Italian language? When you eat in an Italian restaurant, you see many of these words. What are some words? Spaghetti? Uh, pizza? Lasagna? Pasta? Those are all Italian words. They're Italian foods. All right, good. Let's talk about a few other words that came from the Italian language. Um, piano. Shortened from uh, pianoforte, meaning soft or loud, when referring to music, name given. Uh, car, carnav, uh, carnival, carnival, which is a celebration that was held. Umbrella, it, it meant little shadow, which is because it creates a little shadow when you put, when you put it on top. Um, and pepperoni, a hard, highly spiced Italian sausage. All right. Um, let's go ahead and go over our letter cards, picture cards, and sight word cards. All right, you ready? Go. Diagraph O A. Diagraph O A U. Let's try that again. Diagraph A U. Diagraph A U. Very good. All right, now let's do some picture cards. You ready? Okay, here we go. Cry I. Candy E. Ring Ng. Phone F. Leaf E. Thread E. Steak A. Not N. Nat N. Wreath Er. Mouse Ow. Soup Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Cow owl. Cow owl. Sorry. Bow o. Rain a. I'm sorry about that. You ready? Rain a. Rain a. Hey a. Hey a. Circle. S. Circle. Oil oi. Oil oi. Toy oi. Light eye. Light eye. Patch. Draft j. j, bridge j, bridge j, lotion shun, lotion shun. soap o, o, o. faucet ah, 
Straw off. Straw off. Wallet off. Wallet off. Sponge off. Sponge off. Excuse me. All right, sight word cards. Last set. You ready? Go. Okay, let's go over our new spelling words for this week. Spelling word list 20. So take out your Saxon work. Spelling list 20 is what we're focusing on this week. First word is stable. A stable. What is a stable? Who can tell me? Very good. Where they put the horses when they sleep. They put them in the stable. Right? It's like a big farm. It's like a big barn, but then there's like partitions, like a small room, and they put a the horses in each room, and there's hay on the floor. It's called a stable. All right, let's read. Stable. Tile. Tile is like the tile on the floor, right? Instead of carpet, like the hard floor, that's called tile. Oh, I'm sorry, title. The title of this paper is spelling words. Okay. Sorry, stable, title, spring, faster, pouch. Pouch is like a like a pouch, like a little bag. Okay? Below, stronger, frisky, soil, itch. Frisky means like kind of crazy. Uh batch, smudge, cage, stage, huge. Again, friend, walk, talk, only. Let's read the sentences. Pick up an apple and a jug of milk at the store. 22. Can your cat run faster than my dog? Study these words. Your spelling test is on Friday covering these words. Does anyone have a question on what one of these words might mean? Okay, very good. Let's go on. Um, where it says spelling sound review next to number one, I want you to write the spelling sound for, that's very hard for you to understand. Okay. So that is F final F F. Number two, A, that's A consonant E comma A final A Y. A consonant E comma A final A Y. Number three, U. That's U consonant E comma U. U consonant E comma U. Number four, J. That's J comma G final D G E comma G E. Let's say it again. J J comma G final D G E comma G E. Number five R combination. A R number six E that's E E final E I'm sorry that's E E comma E final E E comma Y I'll repeat it again that's I'll wait it's E E comma E Final, E, E, comma, Y. Number seven, Ch. 
That's C H final C H comma T C H C H final C H comma T C H. Number eight is K. That's K comma C final C K comma K comma K E comma C. Again, that's K, K comma C final C K comma K comma K E comma C. Number nine. That's S comma C final S S comma S E comma C E. So this is how your paper should look. If you need some time to write this down, you can pause the video now. Let's practice some review words. Next to number 10, I want you to write the word spider. 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 Class, how do you spell spider? Very good. S P I D E R. Spider. Next to number 11, write the word laugh. Laugh. Dominic, spell the word laugh. L A U G H. Excellent. Next to number 12. Write the word operation. 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 All right. Let's see who wants to try this. Brenaya. Excellent. O P E R A T I O N. O P E R A T I O N. Next to number 13, write the word brought. B R O T. I brought my book. Brought. J C. Brought. No. Uh, let's see. Hey, Mariah. B R O U G H T. Very good. Number 14. Write the word lobster. Lobster. Christian, spell lobster. Very good. L O B S T E R, lobster. Number 15. Spell the word walk. Please walk, do not run. Amaria, spell walk. W A L K. Excellent. Where it says um, sentence, listen to the sentence first and then write it out loud with me. A. Starling is a black bird with little dots, period. Do it with me. A starling is a black bird with little dots, period. Go ahead and write that down now. Okay, this is how your paper should look. A starling is a black bird with little dots. Please make sure that you're working on your handwriting here. That's why they gave you the lines. Make sure there's a period at the end and a capital letter in the beginning. You can pause the video now. Okay, class, echo these words and listen to the sounds in the final position. Session, tension. Say it. I said session, tension. Session, tension. What sound do you hear in the final position? Shun. Shun. What sound do you think is making this 
what letters do you think is making the sound shun? Everyone? S-I-O-N. Very good. S-I-O-N. Good. Now echo these words and listen for the sound that think that's the same in the final position. Fusion. Version. Say it. Fusion. Version. Very good. What sound do you hear in the final position? Shun. Look at these words and see what is making that sound. We have fusion. And version. Like what version is this? The new version or the old version. Okay. Anyway. Um, what do you think is making the shun sound here, class? N I O N. That's right, S I O N. The letters S I O N are both making the shun and the zun sounds, right? What do you think the letters shun are called? What do you think the shun is going to be called? It's a final stable syllable. Who remembers why final stable syllables are called by that name? Dominic? Very good, because they are in the final position. Their sound is stable and... I'll wait. The fat sound is stable and does not change because they have their own vowel sound. In the, it, I'm sorry, because they have the, their own vowel sound. That's right, and even though final stable syllable S-I-O-N can make two sounds, the only difference between the sounds in the letter S is voiced in one and unvoiced in the other. How do we code final stable syllables, class? With bracket. So bracket, shun, and bracket, shun. Okay. Now, what do I put before the bracket, class? Everyone, what is it? Accent. accent. The accent goes right before the bracket. Very good. We won't do any further codings on a final stable syllable, S-I-O-N, because let's see if we can finish coding these words. Session. What am I missing? A breathe. What about intention? A breathe on the E. What about fusion? A macron on the U. What about version? A arc under ER. Very good. Sometimes something unusual occurs when a vowel contains the letter I and a final stable syllable. Let me show you uh, an example. Like the word vision. Everyone say vision. Vision means like to see. So uh, what should we do before coding this word? Bracket the final stable syllable, S-I-O-N, and accent the syllable right before, right? Let's do that, S-I-O-N, and accent the syllable right before the bracket. How should the I be coded here? With a macron. That's right, but for some reason, although this letter should be coded with a macron according to our vowel rule, the correct way to say this word is really with a short I. You wouldn't say vision, you would say vision. Just remember that the letter I sometimes does not follow the rules when it is, set, when it is found in a combination with a final stable syllable. If you have coded a word like this and it doesn't sound right, try the short vowel the short sound of the letter I and see if that makes a word recognizable to you. So this is actually a breathe because we don't say vision, we say vision. All right, so we have a new letter card for this S-I-O-N. Looks like this. So every time we see this, we're going to say final stable syllable shun. Say it. Final stable very good. Final stable sh syllable shun. We have a new keyword for shun sound of a final stable syllable S I O N. Listen to this riddle and see if you can fi figure out what it is. This can be placed 
This can be a place where missionaries work. It can also be a trip to a foreign country or even to outer space. Can anyone guess what the keyword is? No, it's called mission. So whenever we see this card, we're going to say mission shun. You guys see it? Mission shun. Mission shun. Very good. What do you think we will say? Um, oh, I'm sorry. We have a keyword for jun sound of sound of final stable syllable s i o n. Listen to this riddle to see if you can guess what it is. This is an appliance that has become a major part of our lives until the 1930s. However, this appliance didn't exist when it was first invented. The picture was in black and white. Some of you probably watch more of this than your parents think you should. Can anyone tell me what the keyword is? Television. television. The keyword is television, and the sound we've learned is jun. When you, what do you think we will say when we see this card? Jun. Television jun. Very good. All right. Uh, let's see. Whenever we say the spelling sound for shun, we are going to write what? S-I-O-N. So on your papers, next to number one, flip your paper over, next to where it says new sounds and words, next to number one, you're going to write S-I-O-N. Very good like that. All right, now let's practice writing some words that have the spelling sound in them. Next to number two, write the word version. It's on the board. V-E-R-S-I-O-N. I have the new version of the phone. Number three, fusion. Fusion. F U S I O N. F U S I O N. Number four, invasion. Invasion. I N V A S I O N. Invasion. I N V A S I O N. Okay. Your paper should look like this. Let's go ahead and read the words in the box together. Also, walk, wash, water, seven, brother, together, tomorrow. You're going to write each word one time next to the word, and then you're going to come up with two sentences with using one word, one different word in each sentence from this box. Okay, make sure you highlight the words you use, capital letter at the beginning, punctuation mark at the end. When you are done, you are going to code and answer the questions on the homework and worksheet page. All right, if you guys have any questions, let me know, and I will see you later. Bye.